All right, this is step by step how to make e commerce dropshipping ads entirely using AI. I'm not creative, I'm not smart. I never read any of the marketing textbooks that Ty Lopez said I was supposed to read before I started an online business. Knowledge. But thanks to ChatGPT, I don't have to. In this tutorial, we're going to be making a meta ad that looks something like this. I haven't actually made the ad yet, so I don't know what I'm showing here, but I hope it looks good. It's my first YouTube video ever, so I think we're going to go all out on this one and leak all the secret sauce and create an AI avatar as well. It's going to be in the ad speaking face to face with the customer. For this example, we're going to be marketing this red light therapy brush with a built in massage feature to help grow your hair. Going to be marketing it towards women. I saw a lot of people marketing it towards uh postpartum hair loss on TikTok. I think I'm going to try to take a more scientific approach though and talk more about the red light therapy and how that helps grow your hair. I think I'm going to end up running this product honestly like I might as well if I'm going to do all this work to make all the ads. So if you want to see me build the store as well just let me know in the comments and that'll be the next video. Step one is to Nikki up. This is important. Then we're going to hop over my laptop screen and let's run it up. So step one, obviously we need a script for our ad and I don't think I'm smarter than the brain of the entire internet combined like ChatGPT. So I'm just going to write a prompt for ChatGPT to write the script for me. I know a lot of people have these like copy and paste prompts that they use. I'm going to be honest, I just make one up every single time, but usually it generally follows the format of write me a 30 to 60 second Facebook ad TikTok style script using the AIDA format for this product. These are the features. These are the benefits marketed towards these types of people i'm gonna whip one up right now and i'll let you know what it says i'll put it in the description as well i guess all right here's the prompt i came up with write a voiceover script for a tiktok style meta ad for the following product then i just gave the product the name and i put an amazon link you can put an aliexpress link too if you want to i listed the main features of the product and then the benefits if you don't know the difference between features and benefits features are what the product does and the benefits are what the product does for you if that makes sense it's like a feature is that it has red light therapy but the benefit would be that that improves your hair growth and then write this voiceover using the aida framework Work. Be sure to include a captivating hook that will ensure the viewer does not scroll away, agitate the problem of thin, boring, lackluster hair, then provide the solution in the form of this product. Include a call to action at the end, use conversational language that caters to women 18 to 55, and then at the end I just said print each line, double spaced, and don't include scene descriptions because a lot of times when you ask ChatGBT for a script, it'll include like descriptions of what it actually wants you to put in the video, and we don't need that. Here's the script it gave us and i actually like it a lot you can always reprompt if you want to one prompt i would usually do is to say generate five different captivating hooks for this script and then you can test all of these in one ad set and just generate the five different hooks with your ai actor and then you can just keep the body of the script the same also, if you don't like the script that it gives you, you can always just ask it to regenerate and focus on different things. Like for example, I was thinking maybe I would want to talk more about the science behind red light therapy, then I would have asked it to regenerate, but I actually think this is a good top of funnel ad, so I'm going to run with this. So now that we have our script, the next step would be to generate our AI avatar that we're going to use in our ad. So we can just copy this script here and we're going to go to a website called arcads.ai. This is what I use for my AI actors. I'm already logged in, so this is what it looks like. You would just paste your script in here, and then you want to select an actor that you can use for this ad. We're looking for a woman for this, obviously, because we're marketing towards you. women. And I'm going to pick one and get back to you. You could use this doctor, for example, if you're selling a product like this one and you're trying to describe more of the science behind the product, using a doctor avatar would be really good. For this one, we're going more generically into the looks of having thick, luscious hair, so I think I'm just gonna pick a pretty girl. Uh, let's see. All right, I think I let's like skyrocket this girl. you ads performance. So let's add her as an actor. You can pick multiple people as you want to and sort of chop them up throughout the video. I'm just going to use one and we're going to make her kind of the star of the show. So I picked my actor. So we're just going to generate the video here and uh, then we'll jump into CapCut and we'll actually edit it together.
All right, I'm not going to lie, we're picking this back up like two weeks later. I've been a little busy not recording YouTube videos, but I realized that before we go to CapCut, we need the actual content of our product that we actually are going to edit into the ad. And where I get all that from is TikTok. Pretty simple. I'll show you how I do it quickly. Just go onto TikTok. You can do it on desktop or mobile. I think mobile's easier, honestly. And just search up your product. Mine was the red light therapy brush. And what we're looking for here is content that doesn't have text over it. Like we're trying to avoid content like this that doesn't look natural and that the text is gonna obstruct our ad because we have our own script that we wanna use. So we don't want their captions overlaid. So we can't use that clip, but we're gonna keep looking. As you can see, there are multiple red light hair brushes. We're just looking for the one that matches us. So here's another one. We don't really care about the views or likes because we're gonna be telling a completely different story than they are with a completely different hook. We just need good content. Again, text on screen, so we probably can't use this. So here we go, this is a perfect example. There's no text on the screen showing the product really well. This is an example of a video we could use. So then we would just download this. You can use Publer, SnapTick, whatever you wanna use. Just copy that link and download that video and keep doing this until we have like 10 or so videos of people using the product. Once you've done that, then we're good to go in CapCut. If you've never used CapCut before, I'll put a link down below so you can use it. I think it just gives me a free month to be honest with you. I don't think it does anything for you, but maybe it gives you a free month too, actually. I don't know, but link down below for CapCut. Let's get into the editing. Okay, so here we are in CapCut. I imported the video of our AI avatar. Here you can check it out. Wait, is your hair actually growing or are you just hoping it is? So it looks pretty good. The only problem is that there are a lot of awkward pauses here. You can see it in the audio track. There are just these gaps in the audio. So the first thing I do whenever I import an AI actor is I just cut all of these out so that the voiceover flows a little bit better. So wait, is your hair actually gr So like here's the first pause. Let's just zoom in here. And there should be a little bit of a pause here because she's saying wait. Wait. But like that seems like a good enough pause and then I'll just clip it to right where the next bit of audio starts and this should sound a little better. Wait, is your hair actually growing? And then we'll do it again here at this pause. Wait, is your hair actually growing or are you just hoping it is? And then there's another one here. So we'll just cut that. Go right to the beginning of that audio. And you can just do this over and over for every single pause that you see. I'm gonna do it for this whole clip and then I'll be back. All right, I made all the cuts. So the next step is gonna be to actually edit in the clips of the product mixed in with the AI avatar talking. For that, I'm just gonna generate the captions really quick. Captions are huge for just increasing your watch time in general. A lot of people watch videos without the sound on entirely. So captions are big for those people and just keeping people engaged. I think captions are really good, but for editing purposes as well, just makes it a lot easier to not have to constantly listen to what she's saying. We can just read it here. We'll make these look better later probably. There are a ton of different templates you can use, but we're just gonna use the default for now. Next step is just gonna be to import the clips of the product. So our hook, I've tested this a million times. Having the person talking be your hook 99% of the time doesn't work unless it's a famous person, which this isn't obviously. We would much prefer to have our hook be a video of the product or just something eye-catching, a video of the before and after results, the video of somebody with great hair. I believe I have a video of somebody with really long hair in here already. So I found this video and it's just a girl with super long hair letting it down. And that's obviously the benefit of this product is that it gives you really nice hair. On TikTok, I just searched up like really long hair, like really healthy hair girl. And this video came up and I downloaded it. If you're looking for B-roll clips, I just go to TikTok and I do the same thing as if I was looking for clips of my product. I just look for videos with no text over them that illustrate what I'm trying to show. So like our hook is wait. Is your hair actually growing or are you just hoping it is? And this girl has insanely long hair, so it kind of Wait, fits perfectly. is your hair actually growing or are you just hoping it is? I'm gonna make a cut right here. So just to make things move faster, once her hair extends, I'm gonna cut 
a little bit to her shaking it. Is your hair actually growing or are you just hoping it is? And that's gonna be our hook. And then after the hook, we're just gonna go into a clip of the avatar. And then we're just gonna keep going back and forth. Clips of the avatar, clips of the product or B-roll of something else that we're trying to express. Clips of the avatar, clips of the product, back and forth for the whole video. So I'll do one more example and then I'll just finish it. So she's gonna talk for a couple seconds and then we're gonna get into this next clip. It knocks your confidence too. I don't really have a video clip for that. So I might leave the avatar saying that part. That's another way you can decide what portions of your video are gonna be clips of the product and what portions of the video are gonna be clips of the avatar. If you don't have a video clip to accurately express what the avatar is saying, Thing, just leave it to the avatar. You don't need to actually show something. Another good tool you can use is the green screen to remove the background on the avatar and overlay them onto your other clips. I'm gonna use it in the intro here to sort of introduce our avatar before we actually show her. Sometimes people put a little tilt on them like this. I think that looks kind of good. Maybe I should tilt the other way. So the way you do this is click on the video you wanna remove the background from, and just over here, you click Remove BG and do Auto Removal, and it'll just turn it into this green screen effect here. So now what we have is this. Wait, just the is your hair intro, actually growing, or are you just hoping it is? And then she pops Let's up. Let's be real. Thin, and then we dull, get into her lifeless hair talking. isn't just frustrating. It knocks your confidence too. So one thing a lot of people get wrong when they're making ads, and I wanna emphasize this point, is that all the clips are just videos of their product. You need to actually agitate the problem before you get into people actually using the product. So the first 20 seconds of our video is just problem agitation. Thin, dull, lifeless hair is frustrating. You've tried all the serums, oils, and scalp rubs. This isn't the time to show your product because you're talking about negative things. This is the time to find B-roll clips on TikTok of people with thin, dull, lifeless hair, people using oils and serums, things like that to continue to agitate before you actually introduce your solution. So I'm gonna find some B-roll videos that match the script and then throw those in. All right, I got on my B-roll and got ahead of myself and ended up just finishing the entire ad. So this is what we got for- Two, you've tried all the serums, oils, and scalp scrubs, and somehow your hair still looks flat. And so we're talking about serums, oils, and scalp scrubs. So I just looked on TikTok and found somebody, I typed in scalp serum, I think, and this is what I got. This girl also had thinning hair, so I just included some images of the thinning hair. It has some text in the middle, but it, I think it actually adds to sort of the effect by showing the timeline. So I just, I was okay with that. I left it in. There are AI tools like Ghost Cut or VidAU that you can use to get rid of that with AI if you really want to, but I don't mind it. So I left it in. And then just more clips of the avatar talking. And then I get into the actual product portion of the ad. This is where we present the solution. Again, found this clip on TikTok from one of the manufacturers of this product. It's a nice little 3D rendering of how the massage boosts hair growth. And then we get into videos of the actual product. I really like this one because of how much red light it shows. It makes it look like the brush is really powerful. And again, matches the voiceover perfectly. We're talking about the red light therapy brush, so we're showing the red light therapy brush. And then again, we're just cutting back and forth with videos of the avatar. At this point, you probably want to focus more on videos of your actual product than the avatar talk. Talking. You can again utilize this green screen effect if you want to. I didn't use it. Maybe I'll mix it in in the post edit here. We'll see. Again, we're talking about the oil applicator, so I'm going to get a video of my product using the oil applicator. You want to match your video to the script. It's, that's really important. So this is pretty much done. The only thing left is you can change. I kind of like the captions to be very authentic. And this TikTok style text is exactly what you would see in like a normal TikTok. If you want, you can split test with a template. I like ones like this where the text pops up one by one. It's a little more exciting, but I'm gonna stick with this text the way it is for now. What we are gonna do is make it a little bit smaller. It's just taking up a little too much room. And some of these I wanna break up. So I'm just gonna break them up here. You just go to captions on the right. And I'm just gonna do that. It just makes more sense for how I broke up the 
video portion. The only thing left is to add some music in the background. So you just go to this audio tab here and usually the vlog beats are kind of chill and they don't take away from the video. You definitely don't want anything with lyrics. I'm just gonna listen to these and pick a random one. It really doesn't matter. And honestly, I've had success with ads that didn't put any music in the background at all because if you think about it, how often do you watch a TikTok that's not an ad that puts in non-copyright beats in the background? It's, it's rare. So I don't even think you need the music, but anyway, I'm gonna touch this up and then we'll show the final product. All right, we're done with the ad. I threw in some emojis and the captions as you can see and other than that I kept it pretty much the same so I'm just gonna run it for you guys I'll try to shut my yapper and you can just tell me what you think I'm actually gonna run this product I've decided so stay tuned because in a couple weeks you're gonna find out if this ad actually gets sales or if I'm a fraud and I don't know what I'm doing so subscribe if you want comment let me know what you think of the ad and yeah this is it let's see wait is your hair actually growing or are you just hoping it is let's be real thin dull lifeless hair isn't just frustrating it knocks your confidence too you've tried all the serums oils and scalp scrubs and somehow your hair still looks flat and tired but here's the thing the real secret to healthy thick shiny hair it starts at the root that's why I've been using this red light therapy brush, and it's a total game changer. It combines red light therapy, scalp massage, and an oil applicator all in one. The red light stimulates your scalp for actual hair growth. The massage boosts circulation and feels so good. And the oil applicator? No more mess. It gets your favorite oils right where they need to be. My hair feels fuller, shinier, and healthier than it's been in years. If you're serious about fixing your hair, not just covering it up, this is the move. Click the link and give your hair the glow up it deserves. So that's it. I think it came out pretty good, honestly. I'm impressed with myself. I did not have it in me. Yeah, hope you guys learned something about making drop shipping ads. I tried to show step by step everything, but if you still have questions, just let me know in the comments. I'll answer them. If you want to check out ARCADS, CapCut, any of the other tools I use in this video, I'm going to leave links to all of them in the description. Straight up, I hope they're going to be affiliate links. Some of them might be, some of them not be. I'm going to email these companies and see if I can get a discount code for you guys. Please use the links because I get paid zero dollars to make these videos. So help a brother out. Other than that, stay tuned. Next video probably will be the store design for this product. And then we'll do the meta ads campaign setup. And then we'll actually launch and see if we can get any sales. So hopefully you guys don't steal this product in the next couple of weeks while I make all those videos. But you can if you want to. I really don't care. So yeah, subscribe to my YouTube. More coming. Follow me on TikTok. Link will be down below. Follow me on Instagram. Link will be down below at Eric does ecom on everything. I'm trying to keep it real in like the most fraudulent industry on planet Earth and just no gatekeeping, just reveal everything I know and try to help you guys out. So yeah, appreciate the follows, but whatever. See you guys in the next one.